Zechariah chapter 13 verse 9. Listen carefully. The Bible says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. Take note of those words. Shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 19, the Bible says, They shall cast their silver in the street, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord, and they shall not satisfy their soul, neither feed their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. Tell this prayer point loud and clear. Say, so, O oh Lord, let the riches of the Gentiles be transferred to me in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let the riches of the Gentiles be transferred to me in the name of Jesus. Be transferred to me in the name of Jesus. Be transferred to me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. Today's topic is dream about gold. Dream about gold. Do you love wearing gold necklace? Do you wear, love wearing gold wristwatch? Do you love gold generally? Gold are something that is precious to people. A gold, a shiny gold, attract fame, attract prosperity. So when you are dreaming about gold, about gold, it has several symbolic meanings. Praise the living Jesus. In the Bible, gold and, sim and silver are synonymous with money. God designed gold and silver to be a blessing, to be a blessing to man and his environment. God used gold in the Bible to refine as a way, as a symbol, to refine, to refine a man's soul, body, and spirit. In the, also in the Bible, God created gold and silver as a backbone of economic growth. Many people today are after gold, which is the money, instead of to be running for Jesus Christ. Generally, gold represents wealth, power, and, and status. A person's life should always be refined like a gold. A person's life should also be emulated like a gold. Dream about gold has several meanings. Number one, it represents the symbol of success. Number two, it represents the symbol of achievement. Number three, it represents the symbol of opportunities. Number four, it represents the symbol of prosperity. Number five, it represents the symbol of recognition of your efforts. Number six, it represents the symbol of good reputation. Number seven, it represents the, 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 the symbol of wisdom and judgment. Number eight, it represents a symbol of a value of a person to God. The value of a person to God. Number nine, it represents power, honor, and respect. And number ten, the symbol of the gold represents experience, having experience. So, those are the many about gold in your dream. Dreaming about gold represents something in your life that is valuable. What are the things in your life that you are attached importance to? What are the things in your life that is very valuable? Is it your wife that is valuable to you? Your husband? Your children? Your business? Your career? That personality? That 
that academy that is valuable to you or a ring that is valuable, a wedding ring that is valuable to you, a wedding gown is valuable to you, or even the money you have in your bank account is valuable to you. Someone or something precious to you can be valuable to you. You are the very happy person or you are happy with the person because he has a good reputation. You are happy with the person because he's a destiny child. You are happy to move with the person because the person has power, honor, and respect. Praise the living Jesus. Gold in your dream means rich knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. When you are having gold as a person, it means you have rich wisdom. You have been rich with divine wisdom. You have that understanding. We have that knowledge. Praise the living Jesus. No, the dream about gold can also represent good luck. May you have good luck. Represent happiness. Represent growth. It also shows that you will have wealth and you will need to use that wealth to bless people. A shiny gold in your dream means you will have a glorious star. A shiny gold in your dream it means you have a wonderful gift. A shiny gold in your dream. It means you are in a good standing with God. A shiny gold in the dream means you are very valuable to God. A shiny gold in your dream means that you have a good reputation to protect. Praise the living Jesus. If your gold is pure in your dream, you are seeing a pure gold, it means that you need to be transparent and credible in life. A pure gold, a refined gold, you need to be transparent. It is only when you are transparent and credible in life, that is when prosperity, good news, success, power will come upon you. Praise the living Jesus. So, when you are bearing gold, when you are burying gold, it's an attempt to hide something valuable. You are burying that gold. That gold is so special to you. You are trying to hide information. You are trying to hide something from your wife, hide something from your husband. You do not want somebody to share from that gift, from that grace, from that anointing which you have. You do not want people to know the secret of your success. That is burying gold. Praise the living Jesus. You are bringing something that is valuable to you or a secret information. Now, if you are receiving gold in your dream, it means a life of goodness, success in your endeavor. When you are receiving gold in your dream, gold in your dream, it means that you are going to prosper. It means a new opportunity is about to unfold in your life. You are receiving gold in your dream. It means that uh, you are going to be recognized for all your efforts and hard work in your life. When you are receiving gold in your dream, it means a way for somebody to appreciate you. When you are losing gold in your dream, automatically you are losing a valuable thing. When you are losing gold, losing gold in your dream, it means missing some big opportunities that would have translated to success in your life. It also means that you are going to experience disgrace and embarrassment. It means that uh, you are going to lose, you are going to lose the trust of somebody when you are, when you are finding yourself losing gold in the dream. A gold coin in the dream is a good sign. It represents unexpected gains that will bring happiness, satisfaction, and good news. A gold coin. It's a life of impact. A gold coin is a life of prosperity. A gold coin is a life of achievement. That gold coin means that you are going to achieve that task, that project. Praise the living Jesus. It could also be a way that you will be helped from your situation. Somebody is going to help you. So when you are also seeing gold in your dream, it also indicates a career opportunity to use your talent in the best way. Praise the living Jesus. So when you are seeing gold, a gold also in the Bible is also used to show that something else is greater. 
Who is greater in your life? Is it Jesus Christ or is it that money you have that is greater? It's a question. The psalmist says, the word of God is far more valuable to him than gold. So if you are placing more valuable, more attachment, more important to gold than God, that means you are going to lose that blessing which God has given you. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evils. Finding God is one of the most common dreams among the children of God. When you are finding goals, or especially you are digging, you are finding that goals, you are finding that goals, it means that you are trying to discover your hidden abilities. You are finding something that is very important. You are finding ways to prosper. You are working hard. You are placing your focus and attention on that project. You are finding, meaning that you are, it requires your effort and time. So when you find or you have found that gold, it means that you have discovered the secrets of power, fame, and wealth. When you are, when you are wearing gold ring, it means that uh, you are going to live a life full of emulation, a gold ring. It also means that you are going to have power, respect, and honor a gold ring. You are wearing a gold ring in a dream. So when also you are giving someone else gold, when you are giving someone else gold, automatically you are blessing somebody. You are giving somebody else gold. It means that you are creating a channel for somebody to reach that stardom. When you are giving somebody gold, gold in the dream, it means that you are making effort for that person to stand out in life. You are blessing that person. You are lifting that person up financially from a situation or a situation. So when you are also dreaming of, of big gold in water, a big gold in water represents one's virtues, represents one's potentials, represents one's knowledge, wisdom. Oh my God. How you can how can a, a, a person imagine that one's virtues is in the water, one's potentials is hovering around the water? That water represents a land. That water represents an opportunity. There's an opportunity in that area which you have not discovered. The situation of a man who has who is surrounded by business opportunities, he did not see until somebody. A prophet now open his heart that there are many opportunities, business opportunities in that area. So when you are seeing gold in the water, it means that you have an potential. It's around that environment you need to tap. Praise the living Jesus. So in some cases where you are selling gold, that gold which you are selling, it means that you are going to achieve profit, reward from your business. If you are a business person, then if you are a minister, if you are a business person, you are going you are going to experience a good return of investment. If you are a minister and you are selling goods, it means that you are delivering a sermon of hope, a sermon of encouragement, a sermon of motivation, a sermon of deliverance. It means that you want a life to be happy under you. Praise the living Jesus. So when you are having much gold, oh my God, you can never imagine, you are having much gold, it means life of possessing your possession. It means a life of opportunities, a life of reaping for what you have sown. You have sown something and that thing has, has advanced to multiplicity. That is the glory of God because gold represents God's glory. Power, fame, honor, words. That, those are your words. So go there and tap into that word in Jesus' name. When you are seeing fake gold, it's not like fake gold, fake money. It means that you are going to be duped by somebody very soon. When you are seeing somebody giving you fake gold, it means that you are going to be extorted. Whether in your business, when you are seeing fake gold, it means that you are going to find yourself in the web of a scammer, fraudulent people. A fake gold means that a fake identity, fake reputation, fake power, fake honor, fake prestige. You are not working hard for that thing. 
you are trying to raise your ego. Fake gold means raising your ego, your pride. Trying to tell people what you are, what you are not. Fake life on social media. If you are that kind of person, living a fake life, stop it. So that God can bring you up. Praise the living Jesus. So if you are surrounded by gold, automatically you mean that you are surrounded by opportunities. There are opportunities surrounding you. It means that you also have wealth, hidden opportunities, hidden talent inside of you. And it also means that you are it also means that you have some you have some glory. On the other hand, when you are seeing golden keys, when keys are golden, it means that that things are very important. There is a high demand on that thing, very expensive. Now, in the dream, when you are seeing golden keys, that golden keys represent your destiny, represent your glory, represent your power, represent the means of livelihood, represent fame. Now, when you see that golden key, it means that you are going, you are going to prosper if you work hard and pray and fast towards your dreams. Now, if the bunch of keys, golden keys, are taken away, it means that you are going to suffer, you are going to pass through struggle, you are going to pass through reproach or setback in that area. You are going to pass through some failure or disappointment at the edge of your testimony. Praise the living Jesus. May the Lord help you. And whatever the enemy has, has stolen from your life, recovering is by force in Jesus' name. So if you are dreaming about gold, finding gold and any kind of gold, what do you do? Give your life to Christ. Repent from every known sin. Ask God for mercy and forgiveness. Learn to remain submissive. Discover your hidden abilities. Then pray for God to lift you up. Pray for God to lift you up. And the way out is to build your reputation and your sources. The instruction is to embark on three days fasting and prayers between 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you have anything that you are placing more, uh, more valuable importance to, pray on that. If it's your wife, your children, pray on them. Pray for them rather that the eyes of the Almighty God will be on them. If it's your bank account, pray for them. Pray for your bank account. Close your eyes quickly. Take this prayer point loud and clear. Every anointing of desert spirits upon my life, dry up by fire. Dry up by fire. Dry up by fire. Dry up by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, every power working against the fulfillment of my destiny be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Be disgraced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every evil done to my destiny by household wickedness be reversed now. Be reversed now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. Say, any power that has been supplying strength to problems in my life be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are blessed by that broadcast, congratulations. The Lord will help you. The Lord will make you, the Lord will refine your destiny and you become more important to God and man in Jesus' name. I want to sound this as a warning to many people. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke from Lagos. I do not have several accounts asking people to sow a seed, asking people for motherless home for, for financial support. I don't do that. I don't have any agent doing that on my behalf. If you see anybody who is using my name to extort, to do, to, to perpetrate wickedness online, on social media, anywhere, do not hesitate to give us an email. Our email is ejoshuatv at gmail.com. We will respond to your email immediately. And if it is a test message, you can write us, you can send a test message to plus 234 
that number is on WhatsApp and Telegram. If there's anybody like that, the law will take its course. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.